What do you mean by the term iron implantation? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backwards Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask yourself that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term iron implantation? Well, let's find out. So, iron implantation, just like the name suggests, it is a process by which certain ions are implanted onto a particular material like this. It is a simple process by which certain ions are implanted or is bombarded onto a particular semiconductor material like this. So here, these ions are accelerated, is, they are accelerated very fastly in a particular field. And thus, with very high acceleration, it hits this particular semiconductor material and is impacted on top of this particular material. So this process is actually done to change the properties of a particular material, like the physical properties, the chemical properties, or even the electrical properties. So this is the basic idea behind ion implantation. But then, this is just the basic concept. How do we achieve this? How do we actually implant a particular ion by accelerating it through a very high field. How do we do that? Well, let's find out. So for this, first we would have a particular ion source. So this particular ion source, it provides the ions that has to be bombarded onto the particular substrate. So here, this produces ions. Here inside this ion source, the ions are converted from solid form to a vaporized form. So here, inside this ion source, we now have the particular ions that we need to be bombarded onto a particular wafer. So now, these ions are now passed to a particular accelerator. So now, when these ions are passed through this particular accelerator, now these ions are accelerated very quickly because these accelerators provide energy to these particular ions. So therefore, now now here, this accelerator imparts energy onto these ions. Usually this energy is provided by providing it with a very high voltage. So now, when a very high voltage is provided, this particular ion beam, it travels from a very high voltage to ground. So therefore, a potential difference is created when a very high voltage is applied. It is because of this particular potential difference, these ions get accelerated very quickly. So now here, inside the accelerator, these particular ions are provided with a very high energy by giving a very high voltage to this particular accelerator. So now, now what we observe is that these ions are accelerated very quickly like this. These are accelerated very quickly. So now, what we observe is that when these ions are accelerated very quickly, there will be the ions that are provided from this particular ion source. So let the blue ones be the ions that we actually need to be imparted on the particular wafer. But now, what we observe is that along with the ions that are produced from the ion source, there will be certain impurities as well. Let the red ones be the impurities. So now here, our main agenda is that we need to now separate these impurities from the ions that were actually produced over here. That is, we need to remove these red ions and now separate the blue ions outside. So for this, we now pass it to a particular block referred to as the mass separator. So now, when these set of ions are passed through the mass separator, we need to separate these blue ions from the red ions. So how do we do that? So for that, we would have two magnetic coils like this. We would have two coils like this. Now, the interesting fact is that these coils that are present here, those would only deflect the ions that are produced by this particular ion source. That is, the ions that are produced by this particular ion source, that is these blue ions, they will have a particular mass. So here, this particular mass separator would now deflect all the blue ions at a particular 90 degrees and it would be ejected out like this. But rather, all the impurity ions that are present here, those would be deflected either at an angle greater than 90 degrees or at an angle less than 90 degrees. And therefore, those would not pass out of the mass separator. So here, because of the presence of this particular magnetic coil, 
these particular ions that are produced here with a particular mass that we know, only those ions get deflected at an exact 90 degree and we would now get those ions outside like this from the mass separator. And now once you obtain this, this then is passed through a particular beam scanner. So now it is a beam scanner that now focuses this particular ions that come at a very high acceleration onto the wafer that we have. So here now this is now focused onto the wafer that we have over here and now what we observe is that these particular ions are now focused onto this particular wafer by the beam scanner and we can obtain a desired pattern like this, whatever desired pattern that we need. This does is a simple process of iron implantation. Very simple guys. Here the iron source it produces an ion and now it gets accelerated at the accelerator by imparting energy on top of it and once this gets accelerated it passes through the mass separator which deflects only these particular ions at an exact 90 degree and then it goes to the beam scanner. Once it reaches the beam scanner, the beam scanner then focuses these particular ions onto a wafer thereby bombarding these ion sources onto a particular wafer. As simple as that guys. So now what we observe is that after these particular ions are imparted or bombarded on top of this particular wafer, this happens at very high energy. That is these ions are imparted with very high energy and it is bombarded with very high energy on top of this particular wafer. So once that happens what we observe is that this wafer gets damaged because something with very high energy is striking this particular wafer. So therefore it loses its crystalline structure. So now we have to restore this particular wafer. For that we now do an annealing process. So by the help of annealing process we can restore the structure of this particular wafer. So annealing process it usually includes the heating of this particular wafer to around say 1000 degrees Celsius for like say 30 minutes. And once it is heated to 1000 degrees Celsius for like 30 minutes then it is left to cool down. By this process we can then restore this particular wafer. This thus is the basic principle behind what you refer to as iron implantation. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as iron implantation. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.